Welcome to Lesson 1 of Unit 3, Make It Go. In this lesson, students will work to answer the question, Why do humans make things? Students will consider where multiple common objects come from and the reason engineers make things. They figure out that some objects are natural and others are engineered. They also learn that engineers create objects to solve problems. Take this time to explain to students that they are going to be creating their own toy after learning about pushes and pulls. This is the design challenge for the unit. It is also a good time to introduce the vocabulary word galimoto. A galimoto is a toy car, bike, or truck made out of recycled materials. In the Engage portion of the lesson, use the brown bag of items from the MySci kit. Go through the bag quickly to draw out one item at a time, asking students to identify each item. In the Explore, organize students into small groups, giving each group one item from the bag. Ask students to decide if the object was made by humans or is a natural object. You may want to tell students that a natural object is one that they can find in nature and does not have to be made. Have students use their group's item to complete the What Is It sheet, shown here on student page 2. In the Explain portion of the lesson, have each group share its object with the class. Members could say why they think it is a natural object or made by humans. Ask the group with human-made objects, including the plastic spoon, paper clip, pencil, and toothbrush, to identify what those objects are used for. Ask students if they know who made the objects and how the objects were made. Say to them that a person who uses math and science to design technology that solves problems is called an engineer. Engineers use a special process to design and make those objects. Then students watch a brief three-minute NASA video about engineers and what they do. In the Elaborate, be sure students understand that sometimes we call the human-made objects that engineers make technology. Technology is any tool or machine designed to help people in some way. We said that a toothbrush is man-made. It is a form of technology. How is a toothbrush useful to humans? Use these pictures to point out that the toothbrush pictured started as a drawing done by an engineer. It was an idea first, and then a human made it. Then use the natural versus engineered card set to show students pictures of different objects. Students should decide if the object is natural or engineered. Using a thumbs up, thumbs down strategy would be a great way to see what all students think fairly quickly. Then use evidence to support their claims. If the object is engineered, students should say why the item is useful. You may want to use turn and talks at certain points to allow all students to voice their thoughts. Engineered items in this card set include bunk beds, a boat, headphones, a microwave, and a truck. In the Evaluate, pass out copies of Student Journal page 3, What Do Engineers Make, shown here. Have the students complete and discuss how each form of technology helps or is useful to humans. An answer key is provided here on Teacher page 2. By the end of this lesson, students will have explored items and decided whether they are engineered or natural. They will also describe how engineered objects help solve problems.